Right, before we start, I just want to thank the sponsor of today's video, who are Surfshark, and they have made this trip to Down Under possible. More about that later. Now, today, I'm in Perth, Western Australia. Lots of you have told me I need to go to the east and I need to go to Sydney. So that is what we're going to do today. We're going to travel on Virgin Australia. I've never done that before, so I'm quite interested to see what it's like. Mixed responses online, so uh, I'm going to give my own view on it. You can have a look at it too. I'll show you around, see what there is on board. Also, I'll uh, to get the takeoff and the landing in flight and also shots at the airports as well. If you're a bit of a plane buff, then you'll be able to see a few planes out the window. I've got a uh, private car here behind me as well to take me to the airport, blacked out windows and everything. Hey, I'm, I'm going up in the world. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button if you uh, like the content, also give it a thumbs up. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, so we're going to call off and get a coffee first. Um, oh wow, lovely bridge, we'll uh, hopefully have a look at that in a minute. So we're going to get Virgin Australia 556, VA 556. Never taken Virgin Australia before. Did take Virgin America years ago. I think they've actually gone now, I'm pretty sure they have. Uh, pop your comments in the uh, comment section down below and I have flown on them many many years ago can't, to be honest it would be unfair of me to say what it was like because it was that many years ago I can't exactly remember but back in the day Virgin Atlantic was fantastic it seems to have lost its edge just lately so what is Virgin Australia going to be like well we're going to find out Right, so we've just stopped for five minutes. Absolutely gorgeous spot here. You can take a look at the scenery, etc. I'm going to grab a coffee because I can't start in the morning and get moving unless I've got a little caffeine inside me to give me a kickstart. So we're going to do that. Then we'll head to the airport. We've got plenty of time yet. Uh, we don't take off until 10 past 10 and it's only just, well, coming up to 7 a.m. So let's go and grab a coffee and then uh, you can have a look at the scenery. Oh, got my coffee, right. Okay, so before we go any further, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to the sponsor of today's video, who have made this trip to Australia possible, and they are Surfshark. Surfshark are a VPN company, which stands for Virtual Private Network, and helps keep all of your very important information safe. An easy way to think about it is, Surfshark puts a middleman between you and any hackers that are trying to steal your information which for me is vital, especially now as I'm on the other side of the world using public Wi-Fi in airports, hotels, restaurants and coffee shops, logging onto my bank accounts, social media and my YouTube account to upload my videos. Now, logging onto a public Wi-Fi leaves you wide open to hackers and any people who are on the same network. And if they wanted to steal your information, believe me, they very easily could. However, with Surfshark, I am protected, as it encrypts my data and adds an extra layer of protection to help keep my passwords and personal information safe. 
Oh, and it also allows unlimited devices on one account, which for me is ideal, as I can use it on my mobile phone, tablet and laptop. But by far the coolest thing for me about Surfshark is the fact that while I'm away from home, overseas like I am now, I can still access my favourite shows on streaming services such as Netflix and Amazon Prime, which are normally blocked in other countries. It does this by swapping the real location of your device with a new one aka changing your IP address. This way you can virtually travel to any country around the world. This also comes in handy for me when I'm back home in the UK as there's a couple of shows I like to watch on Netflix that are only available in the USA. So I open up Surfshark, change my location to the USA and voila! Now the good news is you can get yourself an exclusive Surfshark deal enter the promo code MacMaster for an additional three months for free. Just click the link in the description below. Oh, and Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk to try it out. Don't forget, click the link in the description below. Right, better get to the airport. Right, okay, so almost at the airport now. Um, apparently Virgin Australia don't do free food on board. Uh, you actually have to buy it. So we'll have a look at it, see what the prices are, etc., and uh, maybe try something out as well. Um, I've done a little research as well. I think Virgin America, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, merged with Alaskan Airlines or something, so they no longer exist. So this is gonna be interesting. Having traveled on Virgin Atlantic recently to see how Virgin Australia compares as a domestic airline. Right, okay, so I'm at the airport. I want to thank Darren here from Prestige Cars, who is an actual viewer uh, of the channel. And he got in touch with me and he said, can I come and pick you up and take you to the airport? And I said, I'd love that, yeah. So you Why know, not? it's been an absolute pleasure. It's been our pleasure. Uh, to do it. So uh, you do this for a living now, don't you? We do, Lee, yep, yep. We do this for a living now, in and out of the airport, um, private tours of Perth. So uh, what a great place, what a great city to do this kind of work in as well. And, uh, to meet someone like yourself, it's been our absolute pleasure. Originally from England as Originally well? Originally from uh, Essex in the UK, yeah. Oh, awesome. Living in Australia. You look like the men in black as well. Living the dream. Uh, living the dream. It must be a bit warm in that suit. It is a bit warm in the suit, but that's what we do, Lee. It's what you do. Don't worry, we'll, we'll charge people for that, don't worry. Well, thank you, for, <laughs> thank you for being my bodyguard. It's been my pleasure, sir. I'm now going to get Virgin uh, Australia, and you told me it's about a five hour journey. Yeah, isn't it's it? a fairly decent journey all the way over to Sydney, so it's like flying halfway across the world, to be totally honest. So you're going all the way across Australia. Uh, it's a fair distance, but um, I'll be interested to see when you get back to see what you think, compare it to Perth. Compare Sydney to Perth. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be interesting. So again, thank you Hope very much. Hope you have much. a fantastic trip, mate. And keep in touch. All the best, good to meet you. Thank you, you too. My thank pleasure. You. Onwards, my friends. Oh. 
Oh, well, that was absolutely fantastic. That made a change from uh, from Uber, and what a lovely guy. I, I tell you what, it's been fantastic meeting all the expats and all the people that watch the channel. They've made my journey uh, to Australia. They really have. So thanks to everybody that's appeared uh, on the channel and also uh, off the channel as well, who I've met who didn't want to be on the videos, but I have met up with them. Right, onwards, let's go and get this plane. Right, okay, so my bag's a bit heavy, so I'm just going to check it in um, on board. Please place your heaviest bag on the belt and scan your boarding pass. Right, sent my bag back because it needs to scan the QR code and it can't see it so I don't know what's going on here. Now I've got to scan my boarding pass again. Just bring back people. Here we go. Try it again. Come on. Now it's not scanning my boarding pass. <laughs> scan my boarding pass. No. I'm scanning my boarding pass. Not seeing it. What is going on here? Scan the boarding pass. No. Yes, I need more time. Oh, come on. Right, eventually we got the bag through. Why don't you just bring back people? That took about 10 minutes of my time to try and get the bag through. And then the lady had to help me anyway. Um, technology, eh? Right, onwards. Right, going through security, so I'll see you on the other side. Blimey, that was insanely quick. I mean, three, four minutes. Uh, no taking anything out of the bags. Pretty much like Manchester Airport. Straight through, well organised, boom. That's it. That's how security should be. If, if all airports were like that and Manchester, then it'd be a breeze. Right, let's go have a look around the airport. So that's Hungry Jack's. Now that is basically Burger King, but over in um, Australia, it's called Hungry Jack's. Still do the same thing, Whopper and Quarter Pounder, etc. Et is it Quarter Pounder that they do there? Whopper? Quarter Pounder's McDonald's, isn't it? But anyway, it's Burger King, but Hungry Jack's over here. I wonder why they call it that. I don't know whether it was because somebody had registered the name Burger King over here. You'll have to let me know in the comment section down below.
Right, let's get down to costing, shall we? So, um, I booked this flight, internal flight, domestic flight, um, from Perth over to Sydney, um, and it actually cost me £460 return. That's great British pounds, £460 return. Not that cheap for a domestic flight. However, it is a five hour flight, if you think about it. So, but there are, I guess there are cheaper airlines, but that was the cheapest I could find uh, at the time. It was a little bit last minute. I booked it four days before I was flying because really I wasn't going to go out to Sydney. And then everyone kept saying, you need to go to Sydney. And I guess I do really while I'm uh, down under. I don't have to go back and then come all the way back. Although I guess I'm going to have to visit Melbourne as well. Melbourne, 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 isn't it? Uh, and a few other places. But Sydney's going to have to be it for now. We're going to spend uh, almost two weeks in Sydney, film lots of videos there. Uh, so make sure you hit the subscribe button because there's lots of exciting content and lots of exploring and mooching around to do. So we're going to see lots of stuff. Anyway, I'm kind of looking forward to this. Like I say, I did travel on Virgin uh, America years ago, but I can't can't really remember what it was like it was that long ago because i was quite um i, li I liked uh, virgin i loved virgin atlantic um and i, I tried to support them but in recent years they they've gone downhill a little bit but we'll see we'll, we'll give these the benefit of the doubt hopefully they'll be good <laughs> Right, so I'm just having a, a quick latte, uh, a quick ham and cheese um, croissant. Uh, uh, very expensive actually, on a bottle of water that you're actually uh, resting up on there. $35. Jeez. Right, anyway, I'll uh, leave it to these and I'll see you guys back out there. Now I'm hoping this is going to be good because we you know when Virgin Atlantic first came out years and years ago, it was exciting. It was new, it was fresh, and it was it, air travel had gone downhill a bit really, and all the excitement had gone out of it. And then Richard Branson came along with Virgin Atlantic and brought it back into it again, and everyone was really excited to travel in Virgin Atlantic. So, but since then Virgin Atlantic gone downhill a heck of a lot. Um, so I'm hoping this is a domestic flight, Virgin Australia. Fingers crossed. Right, we're on board, got Karen and uh, Gary next to me. And Karen is originally, she's been here years, but uh, originally from Oldham. Yes, Manchester, like my mum. Anyway, up. There we go, we're about to take off, I think.
Hello everyone. Once again, my name is Pansy and I'd like to introduce you to the team. Your captain today is Captain Adrian Dungy. Assisting him in the flight deck today is First Officer Adam Dixon. We do have a wonderful team in the cabin today, starting with Enzo at the front. We have Lisa in the middle and Amelia towards the back. We'll now take you through the safety demonstration, so please pause your devices and give us your full attention for just a few minutes. Welcome aboard. It's wonderful to have you with us. At Virgin Australia, your health and safety come first, so we appreciate you giving us your attention as we take you through some important information about this flight. Your seatbelt should now be done up low and tight across your hips. To fasten, push the ends together until they click, then pull the strap to tighten. To release, just lift the buckle. When the seatbelt sign is on, your belt should stay on too. And even if the sign is off, we recommend keeping your seatbelt fastened in case of turbulence. If the cabin pressure changes and oxygen is needed, your mask will drop from above you. Immediately pull the mask down to get the oxygen flowing, remove any face covering, then quickly place the oxygen mask over your nose and mouth and flip the strap over your head. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen from the flight deck, Captain speaking. Just uh, taking the opportunity to uh, warmly welcome you aboard for the Australian Flight 556 your service to Sydney. Flight time at 3 hours 59 today. Expecting uh, mostly smooth conditions and uh, en route. And uh, weather for our arrival from the Sydney, they're forecasting uh, some storms. So a possibility of some turbulence and uh, maybe a little bit of holding on the way in. Just for now, I'd like to invite you to sit back, relax. And enjoy the friendly Virgin Australia service. Thank you. So, we are in the air. Doesn't look like there's going to be a lot to see uh, from up here. It looks very barren already and we've only just taken off. So I reckon, going to hit the menu, have a glass of wine, Sauvignon Blanc, Rodney, and uh, maybe a little snack as well. So far the plane is very noisy, I have to say. I'm hoping you can hear more like I've clipped it onto my lapel. Um, anyway, wine, snack. Although it's only 10.43 in the morning. Although, you know, they always say it's five o'clock somewhere.
Right, so uh, I've got myself a glass of well, a glass of wine. I've got myself a paper cup of wine, um, which is in a glass bottle. Is that glass? I think that no, that's plastic. So we've got a plastic bottle, but we're saving the environment with a paper cup. Um, anyway, uh, they didn't accept Apple Pay, so I had to get my card out, which was a bit awkward I'm trying to get my card out of my pocket. Not that because other airlines have actually used um, Apple Pay etc. There is one good thing though, you can actually on board here, if you want uh, a free standard tea or coffee or water, uh, that's totally free, you can just ask for that, which is good because you don't get that on uh, airlines back in the UK such as Ryanair or uh, Jet2, you have to pay for your tea and coffee, so that's a nice little touch. Um, not a lot to see out of the window so far. I'm just going to taste my um, wine here, which is a 2003. Um, <laughs> go for this one. It's um, it's not bad. It would be better out of a glass, though, wouldn't it? But maybe only get that down the front there or up the front there. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy that. Look at the uh, sand and desert out the window for a bit. Have my Pringles, and then. We landed to Sydney in a bit. Um, the pilot did say there are storms as we land, so there may be a little bit of turbulence as well. So um, not, not looking forward to the turbulence. Everything else so far though, pretty good. Staff on board very nice. The planes are very um, clean. The only thing is there's not a lot of leg room for somebody like me who is six foot four and a half. Anyway, I'll drink my wine and I'll catch up with you in a bit. So I've um, got about another hour and 10 minutes left to go now. Had a little bit of a nap after that wine. Um, you, don't, you can't believe actually how fast Australia is. You don't think of it. I never did. I, you could literally put, and I know Europe or England in it so many times, it's absolutely huge. We're now traveling over, over water, so I'm trying to, there's no map here. There is an onboard system. If you download the app before you leave, you can connect to their Wi-Fi and then you get entertainment on there. But I didn't do that while we were on the ground. That would have been quite interesting. I shall do that on my return flight, which I will uh, re be recording and filming anyway. So make sure you don't miss out on my journey back to Perth um, in a couple of weeks' time. Um, but we're flying over water. But what I'll do is I'll try and find the uh, route or route that we went. Um, and I'll place it over here now so you can see actually the, where we've actually been from to uh, and the direction it went in etc and uh, whether we went over water. I'm guessing it's travelled further south to come back up again but I may be wrong but you can see on screen there. Anyway, I've not gotten up, I've not been to the loo, I've not had anything else to eat or drink and my legs are getting a bit tired now but uh, baby crying as well so we're, uh, there's not a lot of leg room on here. It's my only complaint so far. Anyway, I'll catch you later on.
Looking for a reliable temperature, 20 degrees. And uh, just some rain showers in the area. And just a light wind from the south. Uh, around storms off to our, uh, up to the south as well. Uh, so it may get a little bit dark when we descend, so we can anticipate if we can set the signs on early during this descent. And uh, for now, I'd just like to thank you for choosing the flight going to Australia. It's been a pleasure having you on board. Hope you enjoyed the rest of your uh, evening in Sydney. Thank you. Right, so, um, Captain has just said, I don't know if you caught that, we're uh, now making our descent. Uh, there are some storms, it's going to be a little bit bumpy, so we've got to keep our seatbelts fastened, so this one should be interesting. And apparently we're coming fairly quickly as well into Sydney, so uh, hopefully it won't, won't affect my ears, etc. Um, and then, I believe we're going to get the train over to the hotel, because there's a train from the airport, I've been told, rather than getting an Uber, that gets us uh, into Sydney. So I'll probably do that uh, and then get to the hotel. So stay with me. And if you are enjoying the video, by the way, do hit the thumbs up. And also, if you're not subscribed, think about subscribing because there's lots more content like this coming your way, working really hard for you. So, uh, right, let's get landed and I'll see you uh, when we've landed.
welcome to Sydney. Virgin Australia acknowledges the traditional owners of the land on which we fly to and we pay our respects to Elders past and present. The time here in Sydney has just gone 5.33 in the evening and we'll be getting into the gate very shortly. For everyone's safety, please keep your seatbelt fastened and the aisle index is clear until the seatbelt sign is switched off. Remember to take care when you open the overhead lockers and make sure you have everything before you leave. This evening we will be arriving at gate 31 and at this stage we will be leaving through the forward and the rear doors. If you're leaving us through the rear door you will have stairs to go down. So please mind your step as you exit, hold the handrails and remain on the outside of the markers on the tarmac. If you're not comfortable using stairs, just stay seated and leap through the forward door when it's clear. As we will be refueling, smoking, vaping or using e-cigarettes is not permitted on the tarmac or anywhere in the terminal. And you can now use your handheld devices with flight mode turned off. Just note you can't use them on the tarmac. Once again, we hope you've enjoyed this swift flight to Sydney. It has been enchanting looking after each and every one of you. On behalf of Captain Adrian, First Officer Adam, your fearless crew today, Enzo, Lisa, Amelia and myself, we wish you a safe onward journey and we look forward to seeing you again very soon. And to our dear Swifties, we know all too well that you'll be having an amazing time at the concert. Just don't blame me for the cool summer storm tonight. Thank you once again, safe travels and have a wonderful evening. Bye. Bye. Have a good one. Right, so I'll go and get my bags. Um, wasn't a bad flight. I found the wind is really low down for a tall guy like me anyway. I'm having to bend down to look at, through the window. Um, people who like planes out there, uh, aviation enthusiasts, is that because it, it's obviously the plane, isn't it? It's, uh, it just found it a bit awkward. I like the wind is normally a little bit higher. Anyway, we need to go and get the baggage. Um, and then we're going to get the train and we're going to get to the airport so uh, and by the way message to the couple that was sat next to me absolute pleasure to meet you uh, you really made my flight so thank you Right, so I've got to get a train now to Circular Quay, apparently. Is it Circular Quay? Yeah, Circular Quay, and then get off there. And apparently that's better than getting an Uber and a lot quicker and a lot cheaper. It's only 15 minutes to the city. So onwards, my friends. And looks like you don't even need to buy a ticket. You can just tap your mobile phone or, or, uh, or card. Okay, that's good. It's a double decker, double decker train.
Right, here we are, Sydney, and wow, <laughs> there's the bridge, there's the ferry, it's got lots of joggers, this seems a lot more vibrant than Perth, very, uh, very much so, a lot busier, wow, it is a lot busier. Wow, this is a, a totally different vibe. It's very, very London, New York. You can feel everybody's rushing around a lot quicker. Uh, it's a lot cooler, but it's nice. It's just, it's perfect. Right, we've got about a 1.3 mile walk, but I could get a bus, I could get an Uber, but I'm going to walk. It's not too hot, and what a great city. Wow, this is huge. It's a bit steep, this hill, though. Oh. I have to take my hat off, it is getting a bit warm now. Um, straight away, I'd say vibes of New York rather than uh, London. Very, very, where I am at the moment. <laughs> it's always a loud car. Um, yeah, vibes of New York, I'd say. Upper, upper East Side where I am at the moment. Maybe up, no, Upper West Side. But it's uh, a little bit cooler. But it's still hot when you're walking around. Maybe I should have got a cab, but just getting the, I'm just getting my bearings you know getting my bearings yeah it is New York basically you walk over the road and even though the green man's on the cars still turn I don't get that just follow suit with the UK if it's on a green man pedestrians right away cars wait same in the well same in the States I don't get it it's crazy Right, now I'm getting, blimey, they don't give you long to cross the road. Uh, St Mary's Cathedral, We're getting a vibe of London around this bit. It's uh, a bit quieter. Very, very, very metropolitan this, compared to Perth. It makes Perth look like a town, but Perth is so relaxed. It's great, I guess, to have both. Just, wow, look at that skyline. Right, I'm liking this. We are going to do some exploring over the next few days, over the next couple of weeks. Oh yes. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. This, yeah, it's, there's a lot to explore. And this is not taking it away from Perth, because Perth's beautiful, but there's a lot going on here. This is a metropolis, and this is going to be worth exploring. Oh, me? you and a camera and we're going to take a look around everywhere right here we are so Let's go and find out what the room's like. It's probably small, but bijou, you know? Tiny, but bijou. <laughs> Come on, I'm shattered. It was worthwhile walking, though, because it gives you an idea of where you are, doesn't it? Get your bearings, get me bearings. Well, it looks all right to start with. Very nice. Very nice reception area. There we go. Look at that. Wow, it's nice. Right, I'm just checking in. We've got Louise here from Hertfordshire. 
Now, you went to Perth before you went. How long was you there for? Only two weeks, and after a week, I decided it wasn't for me. It's not for you? No, definitely not. Because you're a party girl, party and girl. It, it was a bit of a sleepy town, wasn't it? It is. I feel like maybe when I'm a bit older, when potentially, you... but Sydney's, <laughs> I'm Sydney's better for me. <laughs> Sydney's got a vibe, hasn't it? Has, it? Yes. It's like New York, it's like London, right into them. one, yeah. yeah. Where's the best places to go while I'm here? Ooh. Where's the where's the best restaurant? I love Surrey Hills. Surrey Hills, Surrey Hills very is that nice. is that, that, um, that trendy? Is it nice? Restaurant, so it kind yeah. of reminds me of Camden a little bit. Oh right there. then, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Um, beaches, I love Milk Beach. Yeah. It's very nice. Coogee's yeah. my favourite. But okay. I'm a bit biased, it's full of. Full of all the English and Irish, but... Oh, where's that, where's that? Coogee. Coogee? Yeah. And that's got Irish bars, has it? Yeah. Brilliant, because yeah. I love an Irish bar, so that's good. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Right, I'm taking all these notes down. Anywhere yeah. else? Um, where do I steer away from? Oh. Is it King's Cross? That's where I live. You live in King's <laughs> yeah. Cross? People have told me about King's Cross. Yeah, I mean, it's debatable, but... Um, oh, no, do you know what? It's, it's probably... It's cheaper, and it's yeah. close to everything. Is it trendy, though? Is it good? Uh, uh, Nothing, nothing going for it really. Nothing okay, going yeah. for it. Well, other than you live there. Then yeah, that's exactly. It. Yeah, brilliant. Clovelly is my favourite beach. So what is? Clovelly. Clovelly is the best yeah, beach. Yeah, so you can walk from Bondi uh, to Coogee yeah. or Coogee to Bondi, and then yeah. you've got Clovelly, and it's. Beautiful. Clovelly is better than Bondi, is it? For me personally, yeah. Yeah, is that because it's it's more classy or? It's more quiet. It's more I quiet. love Bondi, but it's uh, the waves are wild. Like, the waves are wild. You get knocked out. Yeah. Oh right, okay. Any sharks? Not not yet. No. Not yet. Good. I'm steering away from them. <laughs> right. Where was the Irish bars again? Um. So there's a few. They've got Shays in Ramwick, which yeah. is like Irish food and um like an Irish bar. With PJ O'Brien's, which is in Central. Yeah. Um, I always end up there. I'm not gonna lie. PJ um, O'Brien. I live with an Irish girl, so we're always we're always down there. It's good crack. As right. they say, good crack. Good crack. Yeah. Huh? Well, my mate's Irish, um, so yeah. Yeah, but yeah, Shane's got good Irish Irish. I've got a good vibe about Sydney yeah. now. I have. Yeah. I've, I'm waking up after two <laughs> two week three weeks in Perth. Yeah, and here you are. <laughs> And here I am, I'm on it now. I want to get checked in. We're going to go and uh, check out the room and then we're going to get on it on some Irish bars. That's Absolutely. it. Yes. Oh, hey. Now then, this. Woohoo! It's more like it, my friends. This is a brand new hotel. It's only about two or three months old, this is. Now, I'll let you know which hotel it is uh, once I've left here, um, uh, just for security reasons. So if you've figured it out, don't pop it in the description. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Shall we have a uh, look around? In fact, you can, probably, you can probably see it if I show you the TV. But it's absolutely amazing. Got a great view, nice bed, uh, coffee machine. Come and have a look. Right, here we are. Coffee machine just here. Let me t tell you what, let me switch this light on here. There we go. Coffee machine just here. Little uh, DeLonghi coffee machine there. Got some little coffee pods as well. And then in here, we've got a uh, toilet. Small but bijou. Uh, and we've got the uh, sink there. Nice sink. Shower in here as well. Look, look at this. Oh, look at that. You can actually see. I can see the bed through the shower. <laughs> that could be a bit embarrassing, couldn't it? If... Uh, you're on like a, like, well, if you're on a first date, I'm sure you'd be, you wouldn't be in a hotel room with them, would you? Uh, oh, look at this. Got a little smeg fridge as well. Now that is cool. I like that little smeg fridge. Okay. Kettle. There we go. Drawer with a safe in it. That's good. Okay. And then round here, chair. Nice lamps. There's your... Uh, that's, that's actually quite nice. I like that. Nice bed as well. Got a desk there. Got a TV above it, but I'm not going to show you because it says the name of the hotel on it. Um, and out here, let me turn this light off now. I see the view. Look at that. That is really nice. Wow. Look at that. I'm going to put the air conditioning on because it is getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here. Um, fan, medium, low, cool. There we go. Let's turn that down a bit. It is, uh, that's about as low as it'll go. Right, okay. I tell you what, there's going to be lots and lots of content coming your way. I've got a good vibe about this. Sydney is banging. 
I really, really like it. What a view out the window there as well. Uh, the hotel's fantastic so far. What a, gr what a great room this is. Uh, reception, the uh, lady on reception was fantastic as well. And from England. Now then, before we go and before you leave me, um, remember, I'd like to thank again the sponsor of today's video, who are Surfshark. Now, don't forget... Click on that link in the description back down below and you can get three additional months for free. That Surfshark, they are absolutely fantastic. I'll be sparking my computer open in a minute and I'll be linking onto Surfshark and watching uh, some uh, English TV programmes. Got to catch up on Corrie and uh, EastEnders. M more so Corrie, I think. Anyway, so there we go. Don't forget, click on the link in the description down below uh, and get three additional months for free uh, for Surfshark. So Surfshark, thank you very much. And that is all from me today. Please do hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the content. Also, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.